Oh, hi everyone. This is Dr. Sherry here. So, uh, CEO and Chief Tutor, Sherry's Medical Academy. So, we are today just uh, going to discuss very shortly about ankylosing spondylitis. As you can see this one, ankylosing spondylitis. You will be given a 30-year, you know, young man. So, as you can see, man, as you can see the age, it's like uh, young and it's male. Uh, these are the two things that's common it's not like it doesn't happen in female but it's more common in male so the question often gives the male version okay so uh, that's the thing and the very common the it's like the bamboo spine that's the bamboo it's a very familiar word in bangladesh so uh, bamboo how we call bash whatever so the bamboo spine that is very characteristic in this case in case of ankylosing spondylitis so you have to do an x-ray right initially an x-ray then you, you know the definitive is mri in between them there is a test we call hlap27 okay so sometimes after x-ray if they ask what's next like you can go for hlap27 if they ask gold standard best most appropriate answer is mri in that case okay uh, treatment talking about treatment the treatment would be simple paracetamol and these things also some book says provision of nsaids you can use okay this is the thing uh, you can also have you know there's provision of using um, few drugs like uh, dmrds like at some point like you know disease modifying anti uh, rheumatoid drugs you can use also their provision of using steroid so these are the some treatment option these are the investigation option and there is a very popular mnemonic the mnemonic is like uh, so it also defines the clinical features so of course there are arthritis as you can see very commonly young male present with arthritis so this is one a it can give rise to some problem in the heart in if it's a long-standing if you don't treat them properly they can develop aortitis aortitis aorta related to heart you can understand uh, antiuritis in the eye so in the eye you can have antiuritis and atypical lung fibrosis so there's another thing atypical lung fibrosis this is in the lung so there's a question we have seen live sand kylosing in spondylitis what is the test in long term you can do you have to do a lung function test as well that's very interesting so those people know that about atypical lung fibrosis they can only answer that one and the another one is you know achilles tendon so we have a big tendon like tendo achilles so this is a very like uncommon disease you know condition where which can involve the tendo achilles so without trauma tendo achilles can be involved because of the callosing spondylitis and the age group already i said is young age group is more common okay and i feel like i just wrote like it's my academy name sheriff's medical academy thank you so much if there is any question related to and callosing spondylitis you want to ask you can ask us in the comment section thank you so much and have a nice day